Hello. In this video, we will discuss orbital motion, like how the moon orbits around the Earth, or like how the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's start by thinking about the moon orbiting the Earth. When we say that the moon orbits the Earth, we mean that it is moving in a path around the Earth. Now, orbital paths can be circular, but they can also be elliptical. An ellipse is like a circle, but it's stretched out so that there's not a constant radius. Elliptical paths can be a bit more complex, so we are going to focus only on circular orbits. As the moon goes around the Earth, that means it has some kind of tangential velocity at which it moves. But as we learn when talking about circular motion, that means that it must have an outward radial force of a magnitude of the mass of the moon times its velocity squared, divided by the radius. In this case, the radius is the distance between the moon and the Earth. More precisely, it's the distance between the center of the moon and the center of the Earth but we don't need to worry about that for this problem. Now, if there weren't any other forces involved, that outward radial force, called the centrifugal force, would make the moon drift further and further away from the Earth until it was lost in the infinite depths of the cosmos, never to return again. Goodbye, moon. Obviously, that doesn't happen. The moon has stuck around for all these years. Well, the answer, as you might have guessed, is that gravity tries to pull the moon towards Earth and this inward radial force, called the centripetal force, helps fight the centrifugal force pulling it outward. If the gravitational force magnitude happens to exactly equal the magnitude of the centrifugal force, then there will be no change in the distance between the Earth and the Moon, and we will therefore have a circular orbit. It happens to be that the Moon orbits the Earth in a path that is very close to circular, so for the moment, let's assume that it is circular. If I told you the value of the Earth's mass, and the distance between the Earth and the Moon, can you tell me what the velocity of the Moon in its orbit is? Go ahead, try to work this out yourself. So the first step is to write out an equation that says that the centrifugal force, which is mv squared over r, equals the gravitational force, which is this whole expression. The next step is just to solve for the tangential velocity, since that is what we want to know. So let's do the algebra. Multiply both sides by r. Now, divide both sides by the mass of the moon. It's good that the mass of the moon canceled because I did not tell you what its mass is. Now, we just have v squared on one side, so let's get rid of that by taking the square root. We end up with this expression. If we plug in the values, we find that the answer is approximately 3,000 meters per second, or about 3 kilometers a second. That's quite fast compared to most things on Earth. A commercial plane only flies at about 250 meters per second. To conclude, we have learned that an object can orbit another object in space in a perfect circle, provided it has a very exact tangential velocity, given by this expression that we derived. 